Hey, what's up, everybody? So today we're going to talk about another crazy person who I stumbled upon, Andrew Ditch. And uh, he's a pretty, pretty pathetic story. It seems that uh, he might have like Munchausen's because he thinks that he has all these like things wrong with him. Although it's it's putting on, he's putting on an act essentially. And, uh, I don't know, he's obsessed with wearing diapers and poop. Stuff like that. Typical, typical Cal things. But he's got, he's got a lot to it. What's up, Caspergers? Right? No way, crazy people on the internet uploading stuff? What's up, Obadiah? So, I was trying to find, like, the first thing I could find about him. And, thankfully, there are, like, several channels, even though it's only, like, about a hundred or so people who, like, document him and make memes about him and stuff. At least there are people going through his crazy amount of uploads and picking stuff out. What's up, Chun Truck? Yeah, oh, hell yeah, Steam Elements, Stream Elements, this is Steam Elements, but whatever. It is a sicko for sure. Yeah, another Pamper Chew. Pretty much. So this says, Andrew Ditch, the story that started it all. So, apparently, there is an oil diffuser that he is burning. He's burning this oil diffuser all throughout his house. His mom has to have, like, an oxygen tank and stuff. And the cops get called because he won't stop burning an oil diffuser. So, I had another video lined up. And then... What's up, fifth dog? Bong man. posted something that caught my interest that What's I found up, Aaron? To be far more important. And to give context... What's up, Zombies Cannabis? I put the whole story together so this is the only person i found who actually like narrates or like tries to talk about it when putting the videos together most everybody is just like an archive channel of his stuff or a meme channel so let's watch exactly be treated this way Worse than it is for us. And, uh, yeah, he lives in a big old horde. Kind of like the, uh, Chris Chan horde. What's up, Parker? Parker barked at him at 3 o'clock in the morning. So this is a way of killing Parker. If you notice in this video, they make it a point that they are annoyed by the oil diffuser, and he will later on pretend like he didn't know nothing for youtube to know is 10 p.m friday march 13 2020 mom called please because andy had oil diffuser oh yeah chon truck i wouldn't buy anything that that guy says i'm trying to keep relaxed from my dad yelling and not give me sensory break when i had to take a little break to try to be able to do as I'm rolling just another another dang cow man uh set the table and clear the table for him and my sugar got low then too do you think that he needs breaks what's up Laguini thank you thank you for being a uh, member I don't know if it pops it up I think those are like the weird ones that don't want to pop up for some reason but thank you thanks for hanging out with us Right, Jonathan? Someone needs to rescue the damn dog. Because he's out of shape and because he's just lazy, too. You think that probably has something to do with it? So YouTube knows that I'm doing my coping skills. See, he, he plays up this whole, like, I'm autistic. I have to talk like this. I don't know. Even though he's he's playing it up. He's like diabolical, really, when it comes down to it. He doesn't want to do anything, and he uses any sort of like, Oh no, that's my coping still. You're being abusive to me because I have autism. As a way not to have any sort of responsibility or do anything. Anytime Andy does coping skills, it's... What's up, Efren B? Call the police time. Hell yeah, peaceful yeah, joint. Uh, that's it.
Uh, I'm gonna fast forward through. What's up, Alpha Chad? Uh, just uh, we'll watch this one. This is like essentially like the first thing that I could find. It says the story that started it all. So this is like a big moment in the ditch ditch verse, I guess. The oil diffuser. Some of this. Maybe at some point, Fosco. We've all seen it. What's up, but Chica? We're gonna call the police because when she came downstairs to try to eat, it was so strong that she got it. Heart problem and breathing problem. I had to put the oxygen on. He asked to turn it off. He refused to do that. This morning we came back in papers. He asked to turn it off and he refused to do it. It's the same thing. Even Joe, you can ask him. He had to go upstairs. We couldn't stand it because we're trying to eat. And you can't eat when it smells of it. I, I have no idea. You'd have to ask him. He's, he's, he's videotaping us. I don't have to. You're not, uh, you're not. It's a court order. We want to know. All right, see, but like, okay, he's got autism and all that. But as soon as the cop shows up, he does the whole like, I'm not talking to you unless I have my lawyer. Is it court order? He's doing all the bullshit that a conniving person who like knows more than they're letting on would be doing. If he really had autism, he'd probably be like, okay, blah, blah, blah. But he's, mm, come on. Public press charges because this is our home and it's bothering our breathing. Hell yeah, Mr. Bolds. You didn't Bulls. ask me to turn off. You stop turning that light, my face. Hell yeah, Brandon. But yeah, what's up, Mr. Bolds? What's up, Locale Cookie? Oh, I'm sure he is. You gotta be to watch this kind of shit. Yes, they did. <laughs> I can say, is that order or is that a violation? You gonna arrest me for having my light on camera? No, I'm asking you as a matter of human decency if you could stop shining a Well, I did nothing mind. wrong except for just trying to sit here relax and trying to do good I mean, and I'm being not allowed to have something that helps me relax. Give me a chance. Oh, hell yeah, Mingo. Marty should play chess with... Maybe this guy. I think this motherfucker might play some chess. And so does Wild Man Chris. He plays some chess. Some damn chess. But I think on this guy's channel... He himself has a channel. Let me see if I can like go to it real quick. Because I'm just watching stuff from people who've like clipped it and uh, re-contextualized it and stuff. Because his stuff is hard to watch on its own. What's up, Guru? Oh yeah. Also, yeah. Absolutely peaceful. Don't be eating. Here you go, Andy's autism's life story. And he just uploaded this an With hour ago. The printer head. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna hold this like this. And so yeah, he uploads a bunch of stuff on here. But it's easier just to go find like channels who have like clipped it and recontextualized it and stuff. Stop shining the light in my face, please. I hell, yeah. Have a legal hell yeah, big time. All right. You have a legal What's up, right darling? Here, I'm asking you, can you please stop? I want a lawyer. I need further communication. For what? I'm not asking I have a legal right to have a lawyer. Incriminating questions. I have a legal right to a lawyer. Okay. Well, your have a nice have, day. Your parents have a legal right to not breathe any humans in their own house. Yeah, Garu. He is. He's a pampered chew offshoot. You should just go live with pampered chew. I mean, at least concentrate the evil into one location instead of spreading it out everywhere. Okay. So, I'm asking you to shut the oil diffuser off. Uh, it's for my coping skills. <laughs> the cop's like, I'm asking you to shut the oil diffuser off. And he's like, well, it's for my coping skills. And I don't have to answer to you unless it's a court order for it. Andy, can you please now? If there oh, hell yeah, Mr. Bones. Is a court order? Is that a request or is that an Doesn't order? It doesn't have to be a court order. Why do you have to talk like this all the time? Is that a request or is no, that a court a order for me not having my oil diffuser oil that diffuser. helps me relax? You don't have to. You don't need that. Your parents have... Your mother's on oxygen. It's bothering her. Okay? <laughs> you don't need that. Your mother's on oxygen. It's bothering her. And who was it? Revenge of the Sis covered it pretty well. I think I might have saw it while I was looking up stuff, but like I just like didn't click on that one. And I would have turned it off. On, your mother is on oxygen and has been hospitalized 
It's probably Alpha Chad. He likes shitting in his diaper like a big overgrown baby Huey bullshit and like jerking off in his diaper. Several times due to breathing problems. Yeah. And she calls to complain because this aggravates her breathing And she didn't problems. even tell me to turn it off. Right. I was on the phone with well, Craig's services. I'm asking yeah, you to she shut did. it off. Get a court order, then I'll do it. No, I'm not getting a court order. I'm asking you to shut it off Tough or I'll guy. shut it off. Shut it off. Okay. And if you touch it, you- See how low Cal cooking oxygen deprived high from the oil heater or the oil diffuser or whatever. You, you violate my private privacy. You're, you're, it's bothering your parents. This is their house. Okay, you're violating my privacy if you touch violating it. Violating your privacy, how? Because it's my property. So, this is your parents' house. <laughs> Tell my dad to get my, uh, uh, as my representative payee to get my, um, apartment done. Uh, get your apartment. Um, it's funny that even back in this video, he he was talking about getting an apartment because there's something that about Andy that some people- Yeah, he wants to go to a group home. That's the thing. He wants to get like a group home. That's his like ultimate goal or one of them. People may not know is that Andy used to have an apartment and lived by himself. He just kept um, spending all of his money on stupid- Jam, yeah, has anyone got the body cam of this interaction? I like haven't seen it, but that would be like some pretty good body cam to go get. Shit, and he ended up having to move back in with his parents. But remember, now he needs a guardian. He needs a caretaker. He can't take care of himself. What's up, Mikey C? Every time he goes to fucking shelters, he plays up that he's unable to care for himself, and basically gets himself uh, removed from the shelters because he doesn't like it there and he has to leave and do something with his life and he doesn't like it so he makes it to where they kind of refuse him and he forces them to kind of have to refuse him because he plays up that he's like just so incapable so that he can try to you know get into somewhere better because it's i don't know mr bones he's pretty bad he's pretty bad we, we, this is just the first video. He gets he gets pretty uh, depraved. It's not good enough for what he thinks he deserves. But yeah, notice he, nothing of a guardian or that he needs a caretaker. And he's really putting on the fucking Andy don't, Andy, Andy needs to relax shit. You don't have any money. Spend it all. You don't have any money. You spend it all. You spend it on? Junk. Junk. What's that? Other than his diapers, that still seems like junk as well. Amazon. What are you buying on Amazon? Didn't have to answer anything, Miss Annie. Didn't have any problems with this. Alright, well, I'll call my lieutenant and see if this fits uh, uh, harassment charges and if. Oh, yeah, thank you, Mikey. That's what's up. I'm not doing it uh, yeah, it to cause and anyone to, to get. All because your oil diffusers on. Okay. I'm not doing it to cause any intent, to cause well, anybody it's harm. Bothering them, it doesn't matter. And you don't you have. What, since I <laughs> I'm not doing it to cause any intent. It doesn't matter. <laughs> and he's so like entitled and shit that he thinks that he should just, it should be his way and and nothing else because. <laughs> yeah, don't arrest him. He has skid marks. Goddamn. He's he's a. He thinks that yeah, he's fucking. He thinks he's got Down syndrome or fucking autism, and it gives him the right to Down just syndrome. make people. He probably get... does think he has Down syndrome. That's what he's acting like, as opposed to just being like trying to pretend to be super autistic or whatnot. He literally is act trying to act like he's got Down syndrome or something. Oh, absolutely, peaceful joint. They should just, like, drive him away somewhere and just, like, let him go. Like, how people do with, like, dogs they don't want anymore. Just drive him into the country and just set him out. That's what they need to do with his ass. And it is whim. That's not me, Z. I walked in the store, you refuse to talk to me like an adult. Because I don't appreciate how you treat me. You're discriminating against right, my Andy, disability. That's fine. You can go to jail then, okay? That's fine. Arrest me. I'm Throw me in jail. I can. Right. Th throw me in jail for I'm something, Andy. Arrest me. Remember this. Yeah, Rusty, the new Snorlax.
Yeah, pretty much, Brandon. You're not autistic. You're just an asshole. Part. Remember this part. Me for something for I'm trying to do something. Okay, fine, you can go to jail then. You refuse to talk to me like an adult. Because I don't appreciate you how you treat me. You're discriminating against right, my then, disability. Andy, fine, you can go to jail then. Okay, that's fine. Arrest me. I'm Throw me in jail. I can. Remember this part. Depends. <laughs> depends on depends. What's up? What's up, Andres? Me. Throw me in jail. I don't care. Right. Throw me in jail for I'm something, and if I can. Arrest me for quiet? something for I'm trying to do something to, to calm quiet? me down. Do you want to be quiet? Because you know what? I asked you man to man if you would just turn it down and you refused. So this is what happened. The cop is very respectful. He was super respectful and just. Yeah, he should. He should just pepper spray him at this point. <laughs> trying to level with him. All he had to do was turn his fucking oil diffuser off and be like, yeah, I can do that. Sorry you had to come out here. Nah. He was combative from the moment he walked in. Happens, okay? Arrest me. Arrest me. Arrest me. To do. Because Emmy's using that Arrest to calm me. myself Arrest down. Me. And you're not allowing me my coping Arrest skill, which is me. a discrimination based around. This pooping skill, more like it. Coping skill and his pooping skill. Yes. No, it's Make not. sure your lieutenant knows that one. Pretty much branded. That you're denying me something that I had no problem using all along. Yeah, that's him in the screenshot, the little screenshot. That's, that's, that'll be next. <laughs> uh, no, your parents talked because about Because it's my coping skill. You can't just deny somebody right to help them relax. Yes, you fucking can, dude. Especially and if she didn't it even irritates ask me others. To do it. She just unplugged it. I was on the phone. Yeah, even the dog is fat. Like, everybody's fucking fat here, essentially. We, we recorded phone call. What's up, JDX? It relaxes me. You're going to yell at me for putting one drop of uh, two oils in there? Fine, arrest me for it. For my arrest disability again. He wants the narrative to be that he's being arrested for his disability. <laughs> Uh, he's just a crazy guy. He's probably got Munchausen syndrome, and he's burning an oil diffuser, diffuser, and is about to get arrested for not turning it off at his parents' house. That's the narrative he's trying to angle. <laughs> he does look like a thumb. What's up, the snail man? Because it relaxes me. Because it relaxes. What am I gonna do? Uh, a million other things you could do that don't disrupt other people. Good, arrest me. Good, arrest and me. And I'll have it, I'll have it for my disability. Yeah, the guy who's like saying stuff, just like kind of repeating him. I mean, shit, I know I just repeat people sometimes too. But, uh, it's kind of funny. You'll have it for your disability. <laughs> just know how he's speaking throughout for all what? these videos. For harassment for something that's using it for my disability? Yeah. Hell yeah, Mr. Balls. He bought it from a pyramid scheme, probably. Because you're being unruly. This is ridiculous. How is it unruly? I'm not gonna argue with you. I don't have to. Get your lawyer to talk to me. <laughs> that was pretty funny, though, when the cop told him to get his lawyer to talk to him since he was saying he wasn't gonna talk to him without a lawyer and all that bullshit earlier. <laughs> I believe it. I know. So I'm not allowed to have something to help me relax from my disability? You will have to sign harassment charges. We'll get that order of protection back in place too. So I can't have something to help me relax. Seriously? Seriously. <laughs> so, remember, tough guy. Take me to jail. Let's recap. Take me to jail. Fine. Arrest me. I'll have it for my disability. Uh, remember that he was speaking like he was really putting on the slow accent like he's Oh, I'm Andy. I Andy so so. Hell yeah, Guru! Absolutely. He's he's so. Cause I'm dead, barbarian. So slow. Um, help me relax. Remember this. Remember all that shit. And go. You have reached. I answer. He's like in his forties, Brandon.
What's up, bomb squad? I'm calling my lawyer. Stand up and put your hands back in there. I didn't do anything wrong. Stand up and put your hands back in there. What do you I didn't do anything wrong. Stand up! Right now! Stand up. Stand up. You're up me! Well, that's what happened. I don't want to die because you don't want to help me! I don't want to fucking die first! You're gonna me! You're gonna me! You're gonna me! I can never say this is Haley, how can I help you? Crisis services, this is Haley, how can I help you? What's up, Andre C? I can't help you, Hello? I can't hear what you're saying. Well, this is what happened. Hello? Hello? There seems to be a problem with our connection if this is an emergency. Please hang up the dial 911 or give us a call back. What's up, uh, Parker? Yeah, it's so funny. He asked for it. He said, arrest me! Go ahead, arrest me! He's getting it. Oh, he added that little bang at the end. I did nothing wrong! I did nothing wrong other than to help me relax! And now my head hurts because of you! It's always, it's always someone else's fault. He has no, like, self-awareness in any way, shape, or form. What's up, G-Ferg? Pretty much, that's what he is. What's up, Rex Kettles? Alex R, Agent Alex. He doesn't, he's still to this Baba fucking Bowie. day does not see that all this could have been avoided if he just would have put his fucking oil, if he just didn't use the oil diffuser. He could have done all his other little things. He could have hugged his Ted Bear. He could have put his little fucking vest on. He could have done anything other than that. That's not, that wasn't a requirement. Like, you're not, it, it's not something that he's going to, Alex, because of that oil diffuser, he wouldn't—he wouldn't turn it off. Die if he doesn't have. Like it's not life or death, but you know, it was—it was something he needed to help him relax. There are so many different things you could do to relax, there, sir. And um, yeah, <laughs> no one helps you. And a person can. This is how he. I got him up when he's in distress, his voice, he doesn't keep up with him speaking. Yeah, like all of it over an oil diffuser. He's retarded or anything. I want to die, please. I want to die because he didn't get up. We let me. Oh, and he adds the he wants to die thing. I remember a few videos back where he said he would never say something like that. And it's obvious that he's saying that to try to get some kind of rise. Don't tell me relax. I need to send it to Officer Bentley. I want to die. I'm not good enough to have my oil diffuser to do not me relax. Jamal, I think it's like something that you put oil in and it like heats up and it smells good. It makes the house like smell. But he was probably putting a shit ton in it and his mom's got on like oxygen and stuff. And they like asked him like, stop burning it. You're like making your mom sick. She's got to take oxygen. And he just wouldn't do it and kept blaming it on like a coping skill that he had to use, the oil diffuser. And my head hurts. What? I also think that he does this because he's used these techniques on his parents. Like he's threatened to want to die. He says things like he's not good enough for that. Like I always say, an emotional terrorist. I don't understand what you're saying. Andrew. I'm being arrested for my oil diffuser. Okay, why are you being arrested right now? For my oil diffuser. Officer Stephen Bentley's arresting me for my oil diffuser. He's refusing to put his hands behind his back, so now he's going to be charged with resisting. I didn't do anything. Uh, he's refusing to put his hands behind his back, so now he's going to be charged with resisting. I think the cops were kind of like pretty much tired of his bullshit at this point, and so that's why they were arresting him, because he seems to like call the cops a bunch and always be like, I need protective services. Or he calls like adult protective services over the microwave or something. Hell yeah, he needs some of those racks meds that like makes them all sludged out. 
Ma'am, I didn't have anything besides my oil diffuser on. Is it, are the police there now? Yeah, Officer Stephen Bentley's trying to arrest me okay. for my oil diffuser. Why, why don't you speak with Why don't you speak with the officers that are there? Because he's arresting me for my oil diffuser. Okay. He's arresting me for my oil okay. diffuser. He is arresting me for my oil diffuser. I don't want to. You're abusing me. You're abusing me. You're abusing me. You're abusing me. Those are Rob Zombie. Hell yeah. Man, I think he's slapping him right now. Like, you know, sounds like. You're abusing me. You're abusing me. I didn't do anything. I was gonna have to have a call. Listen to the tough guys. Didn't cry. Mister, arrest me. Mister, arrest me. Arrest me. Take me to jail. And now he's crying. Yeah, Mister Bell, she's not believing him. He's like calling a bunch. What's up, King Toddler? Too, because he wants fucking attention. Just listen. <laughs> He always fake cries when he wants to take you. You heard him real cry. What's going on, bud? What's going on? What's going on? I'm listening to I'm listening to oh. Are you okay? Oh, so someone came over while he was recording the video again. He started crying listening to the video while he was re-recording it. And someone came over to him to ask if he was okay. Yeah, let me play. Let me play it for you real quick. You want to hear it? All right. So here we go. Let's uh, look at this news story from when he was on the news. Yeah, bullies families. He bullies his family, then cries. A man from the city of Tonawanda faces three felony charges accused of spiking the food of several of his family members. Police say 34-year-old Andrew Ditch put Epsom salts and laxatives in the food and the water reservoir of the family's coffee machine. Now, the family members knew something was wrong when they all started to suffer from nausea, abdominal pain, and severe diarrhea. Hell yeah, broadside, absolutely. <laughs> Johnny Elbows? Oh, I don't think so. It sounds vaguely familiar, but I might be thinking of like daddy long neck or something like that but yeah he fucking and i i don't know if i found it and put it on the playlist again but i was listening to stuff where i think he poisoned his dad with antifreeze once his dad had to like go to the hospital as he was driving back because he was getting really sick or something and he had put sleeping pills and antifreeze in his coffee or some shit yeah what the fuck yeah Ditch was arraigned and is being held on $5,000 bail. He will return to court tomorrow for a felony hearing. He blames, I guess he's going to blame it on his autism. It was my autism why I poisoned you. I want you with me. I want you. Hey, this is called, they said I am discharged only to say I need to stay because I can't take care of myself. <laughs> right, Peter? Jesus Christ. You to please leave. Step to the back of the elevator. I want you to please leave. Oh leave. God. Thank Don't you. Me. Leave me alone. I yeah, he belongs in a padded cell. Absolutely, Mikey. What's up, Fixo the Mixo? I don't want you to follow me. I am free to go. What's up, Bunny? Leave. Andrew. Leave. I don't want to be followed. I want to leave. It is my fucking right as a patient. You told me I capacity. Let me leave, God damn it! You told me I have a right to leave. I'm recording you. I want to leave, and I'm calling the police. You're refusing me. Yeah, we'll say they keep kicking him out because he's faking, and they can tell that he's faking when he ever goes to these places and hospitals and stuff. Like, sometimes he can, like, doctor hop around and find people who will be like yeah you're autistic and shit but uh he goes to like the homes and hospitals or whatever and they're like yeah man you're just a crazy motherfucker who's faking this shit all right i don't have capacity i want to leave what's up sidoplast 
Rob Hill. I want to leave! And I've been discharged unsafely, and I want to leave! Yeah, Mr. Bones, that's what I'm saying. He poisons people and shit. Uh, there's some more. There's some more, uh... Yeah, let me just uh, move this one up in the chain once. Okay, thank you. I want to leave! I don't want anyone with me. I want to go on my own. You said I have capacity. I'm wanting to. I feel like he's like showing showing out because he's getting discharged. So if he acts real fucking crazy, then he'll like have to stay longer. Leave in the hospital administrator or hospital people. <laughs> Damn, Mikey. All right. Andrew Ditch redecorating the bee cozy. The following footage was shot by Andrew Ditch while still residing at the Bee Cozy Motel. And yes, it's poop. Ugh. Never needed a day forever fucking before. So guess what? This is what my hotel looks like. Never needed a day for before. I'm checking out. That's just diabolical and evil. He smeared shit all over the hotel room. Like, why would you do that other than just, like, for your sick, fetishistic reasons of just being a terrible human being? Absolutely, Rob Zombie. We need mental asylums. This guy could be rubbing shit on his padded cell. Oh my fucking god. Disgusting. Yeah, he's got a fixation. Absolutely, Dad, Barbarian. Ugh. Getting out of the hospital. Okay, so this is more of him trying to get out of the hospital or something. People escorting him or some shit. I don't have a safe discharge. Can you please? I'm not getting. I'm. I'm a danger to adult. I'm a vulnerable adult without capacity. Yeah, Grubby. That's what we're saying. Like it's pretty gross. My dad has my social security money and full stamp card and Medicaid card because DSS and social security has determined me without capacity. And I want my money. I want, I want my money. I want my food stamp card. Give me my food stamp card. Yeah, he's just being manipulative. I access to my money and food stamp card and I don't want to go back. And they're going to throw away my money that I do have. And my personal care disability stuff. Goddamn locale cooking. I don't know. It's only a matter of time when he gets drunk enough and he gets high enough on duster and shit. Is they don't take my disability seriously and I can't carry it and I don't want to go home. Are you talking to me or somebody else? He's like calling the cops or adult protective services while he's being escorted out of the hospital or some shit like that. I want. I need police assistance, please. Ampleful General, I'm being, I'm, I don't feel safe. I need somebody from Buffalo Police. I want to file, uh, I want to file. Pretty much, Topher, Andrew Vitchvoy. A police report on medical abuse. Where are you at over there? Where are you? What? I mean, I can't hear you as I have my earmuffs on, what? Earmuffs, that's another thing. He, he pretends like he has to wear these earmuffs because of loud noises. Like he watched Donnie Darko or some shit and he saw that girl who has the earmuffs on. He was like, oh yeah, that's what people do. They wear earmuffs. But yet there's tons of times where he's out and about and there's loud noises and stuff and he doesn't react to it. He says like beeps, like freak him out and he doesn't like those. But he used to work like partially at one point in time at like a Wendy's or something. They always work at Wendy's. Tell ya, Eric. Yeah. Absolutely, Jamal. Absolutely. <laughs> Uh, 
I want help. Stay away. From and he called 911 yet again. Calling 911 again. For me, please. I want help. I'm at Buffalo General Hospital. I'm being, I'm being harassed by hospital staff. Buffalo General. God damn. I'm being harassed by hospital staff. Yes. Unsafe discharge. You're what? I am and he seems to be going down these stairs pretty well for himself, even though he's always complaining when he's at his house about how he hurts and he can't, like, throw away trash and stuff because he hurts. When he's, like, trying to get out of this hospital, he's able to go down these stairs pretty fucking easily. Being discharged against my capacity and, and safety. Um, unfortunately. I need help because I'm being medically abused and put... Yeah, pretty much, Bunny. Crazy enough to be a burden, but not crazy enough to get put away. ...endangered by the hospital. Hell yeah, what's up, Anarchy Reigns? Daywave and JJ Stoner? That's what's up. And I have it on recording. I don't know where to go or how to go. I'm autistic and I hear not me. I'm autistic. I'm autistic. You see like how it like thickens up whenever he like wants sympathy calling the cops. I'm autistic and getting abused at the hospital. Dick and I hear not going back to be abused. I'm being disturbed by hospital. And they took and they took every prong of mine and What's up, Icy? And they said I was discharged and they refused to help me. I see I'm not gonna get your help, so I think it kinda of freezes there. And it's just him like talking and crying some more. So let's watch him versus the microwave when he called Adult Protective Services because the there wasn't a fill line for the macaroni or some shit. Literally just like ridiculous, just attention seeking, narcissistic, like Munchausen, severe Munchausen, if anything. If he has anything, that's what it is. He just, you know, wants people to feel bad for him and sympathy, give him sympathy, take care of him because he can't do anything for himself. It's fucking Munchausen. Oh, hell yeah. Dash and the Psychic Vampire and the Daywave Ditch Feud. Hell yeah. What's up, Frostmith? God damn, Eric, that's pretty funny, honestly. It's stupid. It's like some stupid ass jackass shit. But it's kind of funny. And I feel bad for the person who hasn't cleaned it up, though. Maybe they didn't realize it. Yeah, Anarchy, he fucking, like, poisoned his family. Hi. Wait. Crisis services. Hi. Oh, just social services. Social services. That's who he called. I thought it was adult protective services. But he called fucking social services. Hey. Hi. I'm scared. Of what? Keep in for me. I'm, I'm afraid of my microwave. Saying, I'm afraid of my microwave. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah, Mr. Bones. So, uh, you know, just to keep the uh, dead silent parts when I pause it, not as bad. Alarm because of my pumps with microwaves. <laughs> my problems with microwaves. I, I I don't like those microwaves. I got problems with them. Let me tell you. And cooking macaroni cheese for dinner tonight. Oh hell yeah, Jamal. First time I ever did this, and Andy's not sure if I did it properly. Anarchy, uh, we saw, yeah, we saw where he had smeared the stuff all over the walls. What? Is it like 
the little macaroni and cheese bowls that you just fill with water and put in the microwave? Big bowls. It's not a little bowl, it's a big bowl. Because I'm a big boy. Big bowl? Okay, so can you put the water in it? Yeah, yeah but it didn't say fill line on the box. Or on the package, rather. You're right, Peter, this poor fucking lady. What's up, Ricky? What's up, Dennis? Really, he's scared of the microwave as yet? Well, damn. And I'm scared because it says help prevent fire and add water. Oh, yeah, I saw <laughs> where he got thrown out and people were, like, following him around like he was the Night Stalker, almost. To fill line, do not leave microwave unattended. Mm -hmm. And it didn't say have a fill line that I saw. Landy just wants you to be on the phone in case this starts. I just want you to be on the phone in case this bullshit thing starts fire. Ah. What the fucking shit? What's that lady gonna do? Fire so you something. Got, you gotta keep an eye on it. And make sure that there's enough water. How, how long do you have to microwave it for? Three and a half minutes on high, said. Okay. That's 22 seconds. Jesus Christ. And you just watch it. Yeah. Right, darling? It sounds like he doesn't even know what autism is. He's just being generally just, like, slow-minded. Yeah. Okay. Can you make sure it's almost done? So, showing people, I know how to use a microwave. Unfortunately, it did not turn out the way I wanted it to. The fill line, I didn't see there's actually a notch inside the bowl that... He has to have that notch. He can't measure it out. He can't do anything for himself. He literally has to be like, this is what you do. Is higher than the indentation of the bottom that says fill to. I didn't... He, he punched a lady? I saw him like raise up. I didn't know that's why he got thrown out. Damn, is there footage of him punching the lady and shit? I saw him being thrown out and all that shit. Uh, Phil. He's a slow in the minds. Yeah, a slow in the minds. To that line, because did not see it. So unfortunately, didn't add enough water to this, so Andy wasted $2. So Andy wasted $2. What is he talking about? Why does he like sometimes slip into the third person? But... He's possessed by a diaper demon is what it is, just like Pamper Chew, possessed by a goddamn diaper demon. It shows I know how to use a microwave, and this is the first time using this. And don't ever think I don't know how to use a microwave. It's not safe for me, and that's why I called Crisis Services to help <laughs> Hell yeah, me Smith. in case of something were to happen. All right, so like I said, there is at least a little bit of a group of people who make some memes on him and shit, and this is probably the funniest one that I've seen so far. Uh, hey, we're having a pizza party. Welcome down to the sewers, and we're having fun here. Cowabunga. <laughs> I fake. I fake. Oh, goddamn. Good, I think it's crazy. Yeah, I got I pretty think. much what happened to me. I like ladies changing my diaper because ooh, it feels so good. I love squeezing my butt hard as I could, like mom wanted me to. And I think I'm pooping myself. Pooping myself. Pooping myself. Pooping myself. Pooping myself. <laughs> I'm pooping myself. I love pooping myself. You're so good. I'm pooping myself. You don't understand, Dad. I'm pooping myself. I think. Scare, scare. <laughs> My 
Pipe bombs never existed. I pooped myself. What's up, Shiloh? I love being baby. I pooped myself. Great, Jamal. Smart enough to poison people, but too, too dumb to make instant mac and cheese. Can't make fucking craft dinner, but he can uh, be crafty motherfucker and try to poison people. Hell yeah, Alpha. No. Come to my ears. You're hurting my ears. <laughs> Stop it, please. I want my group home. Pooping paper. I want my group home. Pooping paper. I want my group home. Pooping paper. Diaper shame. I'm a retard. <laughs> Maybe I'll walk down there because I'm not too far away and I'll put a bomb up, and go over steps at your office. Yeah, the clean urine stash, that's what I'm saying. Like, he poisoned his dad with antifreeze. I thought I had it in here somewhere, but I don't really know. I might have to, like, try to find it. Alright, what's this one? Exploring Andrew's love of poop. This was somebody that had replied to me one of my messages about my repeating my dad's words that got. If anyone believes my magnesium sulfate comment, you got another lie coming. This is where I have to be honest with you guys. I did not do that. I was actually in bed when I text that, but I will not do something like that because why would I eat it too just to have the poops? Not that so gross. Plus, me arrested. Repeat my dad's Hell yeah, words. Jamal. That's what's up. We need a day for ever fucking What's up, before. waste of space? So guess what? This is where my hotel looks like. Yeah, never storms are coming. Before. I'm checking out. So it was a, when he was a kid, was when he put the antifreeze in there? Yeah, that's so fucking scary. Antifreeze and, like, sleeping pills. You're talking about the poo smear? I started to realize, oh shit, I got poo in my hand. I have to throw my poopy diaper out because they refuse to help me. Did that mean and diapers and medicine this and shows food? How sick you really are because normal people, especially your age, would not even leave a to do that. I hate the well, thought Dad, of doing something like that. You Dad, know, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I always do like this. It's on the poop squatch run? Hell yeah, clean urine. Feel poo in my hand. That's not yeah, Mr. Bones. Yeah. Here, let me, like, go back to it, and then I'll, like, give you the link. You have one new message. Uh, hey, we're having a pizza party. Welcome down to the... He's got to be, like, in his 40s or something like that. Close to 40, in his 40s. This was somebody that had replied to me one of my messages about... My repeating my dad's that words that got me arrested. Repeating yeah, my I dad's guess it did. words. We need a day forever fucking before. So guess what? This oh, is what so I hope fucking it's disgusting. Not even Stop it. It's a smell I have trouble with. Oh my god. Uh -oh. I'm gonna lie. I always do like to feel poo in my hand. It's a smell I have trouble with. Oh my god. It's a smell I have trouble with. Oh my god. Tucker, go. Tucker's poo is pretty good feeling most of the time. Right, I gotta go in so I can but, Oh my god, yeah, he's like picking up the dog's poop and like playing with it and shit. No, that smells and I don't like the smell, I but... For stupid... He's in his 30s? Alright, so I thought that he said that he was 37 in the video from like three years ago where he got arrested, so that would make him about 40 now, right? I'm pretty sure like in the one where he got arrested it said he was 37, and that was like from three years ago. So that's why I said like 40 or like, a, you know, right about to be in his 40s. Oh, thank you, the lax. Let's like wait for it to pop up here. Sharing some love. Thank you. Thank you, the lax. Thanks for hanging out and watching this. This one's God, this one's a rabbit hole. A pretty disgusting rabbit hole, too. Me? Yeah, he worked Yeah, he worked somewhere at some Wendy's or something. I'd be scared he was trying to, like, shit in everybody's food. Pick it up Play-Doh. No, it's not Play-Doh. That's right, gross. You're going to tell me 
having autism is sick, right? No, no. What you're doing oh. is sick. It's not right. And don't even smile about it. Get that smoke off. <laughs> I am not face. sick. Disgusting. Oh, yeah, see, his dad's like, what you're doing is sick. And he, like, smiled about it, like, you know, because he likes that. He's, like, getting off on the fact people think he's sick. And he can, like, get away with it with this fake, like, autism bullshit. Okay, you know what? There goes my autism thing. No. I'm laughing you know, at... You used to do that before. I'm not... Was my autism? I am not sick. Disgusting. Okay, you know what? There goes my autism thing. He said, "There goes my autism thing." What does he mean? Like he like broke character because he was laughing because his dad said he was sick. Oh, thank you, Jamal. Jamal Forte became a member. Thank you. Thanks for becoming a member. Now you can get access to these emojis that we got. Thank you. Thanks for hanging out with us. No, I'm laughing you know, at. I used to do that before. I'm not. Why it freeze? I hear. Oh, I mean, right, there's no go. sexual abuse in victim or. Abuser as above patient has been sexually fondled with possible insertion behavior by his brother Michael as a youngster He has suffered chronic PTSD symptoms from this patient has no history of being a sexual Perpetrator himself a predator. I don't think it says predator. It's something close to that though in previous evaluation Andrew reported a tendency to ejaculate into diapers you see, it's disgusting. It's just some, like, gross-ass fetish shit for him. No worry, Rachel, of needing a diaper, right? Yeah, that is so stupid how they worded it. They never worded the after effects of it either. The freaking... The freaking, What's um... What's up, the after effect, the gr gooey, grossy stuff. I'm not trying to be sexual. Yeah. I am not good enough. I went to the hospital for this. Oh my god, infected. he's got nasty infections on his legs because he's been wearing the diapers and sitting in shit all my day. My medical providers don't care. This it's really hurts. gross. It's gonna be fucking gross if, it, if this is it where they show all of it. Bad. It got real bad. And this never had issues on this side. And I'm okay to have pain where I don't want... I don't even have a pain. Yeah, Lax, he's it's super vile. Super fucking vile. He got a diapers. And he can't even take my out of five as my pay will help me. I get no help with my medicine. Uh... No help taking my medicine properly. Ew. I'm not trying to be sexual. Ew. You know what Toker was doing? Alright, it didn't show it all the way, like, in one video, I don't know if it's on here or not, he, like, shows off of these nasty, infected, swollen legs and, like, ass cheeks or something that's, like, hanging out of the diaper. Where he's like, it hurts! I got an infection! When I woke up? But yet again, he wants it. He, like, doesn't change on purpose. He wants that infection. He's got Munchausen or some shit. What's that, Brando? We can only imagine. Diaper? We can only imagine. Hell yeah, peaceful joy. So I'm facing the entertainment center, or actually on my tummy, I think it was, or whatever I don't remember, when I woke up with poop in my diapers. Okay. Tucker's... <laughs> His dad was like, okay, Andy, like, shut up. You immediately start talking about, I woke up with poop in my diaper. Like, oh my god. He's laying with his head on my bed. Closest he could possibly get to that. Tucker? Mm-hmm. To my butt. Oh my god, that right? That's fucking disgusting. What's up, yeah, Supergirl? I don't know what you're talking about. It. Because that's the part that people are really not interested Tucker, Tucker was so... Why is he so into poop? <coughs> I don't know. Oh my god. Like, trying to have a conversation with his dad, like blaming the dog. <laughs> Talk about blaming the dog? God fucking damn it. He has to be right there when you fart, too. 
He has to stick his nose in there. Oh my fucking god. Someone save that dog. I don't even like dogs that much, but someone save that dog from that sicko, like, farting in its face and stuff. Oh my god. Did you want more? Why is that? Huh? I don't know yet. Oh, he is definitely a hard cow. Absolutely, buddy. What does he do that for? I don't know, Ace, because he's a sicko, that's why. He's a fucking sicko. I don't know. And then my dad wonders why I don't throw out my dirty diapers, which I do have to clean my dirty diaper. I have a stinky. But I'm glad to take a bubble bath, and because I don't feel like taking a bath, but I just got done taking a bath a little while ago. I'm going to try to force it out. I think I oh my god! No! It's like gothy levels of like shit and then like recording yourself. I had to stick it five minutes. <laughs> uh, poop rags uh, that he washes his butt on. Oh my god. When there's I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I couldn't listen to him taking a shit. <laughs> I don't, nope. Sorry. If you guys want to like find it on yourself, find it on yourself. I'm not listening to it. Toilet paper. But I also have wipes in the house that I use for my personal problems with the diapers that I really. Um, I have dishes I had to wash for dead. I'll do that when I get a chance. Oh my god, right? He was learning to use the potty. God damn. What's up, Simmons CDA? God, I know, right? It gets stuck. Oh, thank you, Jamal. That's what's up. Thank you. Shaggy Boy became a member. Thank you. Thank you, Shaggy Boy. All the way absurd became a member. Thank you. Thank you, all the way absurd. Thanks, everybody. Brandon the Trash King became a member. Thank you, thank you Brandon the Trash King. Fat Capsed became a member. Thank you, thank you Fat Caps. Captain Papa Tom became a member. Thank you, thank you Captain Papa Tom. <laughs> Zero Zero became a member. Thank you, thank you, Double O. <laughs> no, not the corn. Became a member. Thank you, thank you, no, not the corn. Thanks, everybody. Fosco Grub became a member. Thank you, thank you, Fosco. Quantum Cat became a member. Thank you, thank you, Quantum Cat. That's most definitely what's up. Sam Man 96 became a member. Thank you, thank you, Sam Man 96. I think we might do now have enough. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, Jamal, for like gifting everybody those gifts. Let me give you a another cheer. But I think we have enough now we can make another emoji. Who should we, who should we have for emoji? What should we have for another emoji? With getting a clean washcloth. Thank you. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. They only give me one What's washcloth, up, one bath bug. mat, and a towel. I don't know where I put that, but that's my garbage bag full of diapers. I got to throw out with the box, which I'm going to do right now. Gross. So yeah, there was one of him like jerk disgust. He was like, oh no, I got poop in my diaper. And then like straight up like jerk off nasty like meat fapping sounds. Oh my God. All right, here's where he does not help his elderly mother get off of the ground when she has fallen. God faded. Yeah, he's What's like on, a worse Pampa Chew. Yeah. What? You fell on the floor. Why are you on the floor? I like your dog. What's up, Caustic? 
It's uh, it's pretty terrible. How did you fall? Why did you get uh, why did you fall when you were sitting on the toilet? I got off the toilet. And you can't get up, and you couldn't help call anyone. Look at that. He's just like, oh, you fell down, mom. Like not helping her up or anything like that. Thank you, thank you, Lewis. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go again. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Brando became a member. Thank you. Thank you, Brando. That's what's up. Ed Boy became a member. Thank you. Thank you, Ed Boy. Hell yeah. Keep it racked so it lied. Outbad Brutal became a member. Thank you. Thank you, Outbad Brutal. Dead Barbarian became a member. Thank you, thank you, Dead Barbarian. Dread Off Dead Toki became a member. Thank you, thank you, Toki. I used to, I used to might have had a guy who sold me weed named Toki. Or Tuki. Was it Tuki or was it Toki? I think it might have been Tuki. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much. I definitely appreciate it. And thank you, Lewis, for uh, giving the uh, gift subscriptions or memberships. Here, now everybody gets access to these silly emojis, and we definitely have enough members now that I can make another one. So we have to come up with somebody funny, like a really good one to use. I did. Okay, Google Broadcast. <laughs> Dad. Mom is on the floor. She fell right off the toilet. Oh, She's on the dog's bed. Jesus, take the wheel. This cow and his stinkies. <laughs> God damn, right? Thank you, buddy. Thank you, buddy. I definitely appreciate it. Thanks for hanging out and watching this horrible horror cow, but it's just horrible person cow, essentially. Like, letting his mom lay on the ground, recording her, recording his mom on the ground, needing help, getting up. All right, broadcasting now. Now you know why, mom. Broadcast Google. Google, broadcast that my mom needs to be having help getting stood up. Like, what the hell? Imagine this house. Decrepit, full of junk, nasty smells, rotting diapers everywhere, and they have it Google integrated so they could be like, turn the lights on, Google. Broadcast this for me, Google. Like, holy fucking shit. Terrifying. That is the most post-apocalyptic, disgusting, like, horrifying sci-fi shit I've ever honestly thought about. Hagen das still has stores? I don't know, do they? I remember once this person got real mad about this, like, guy eating their Hagen das or something. It was in the refrigerator. And I just, I don't remember where it was at. Probably in, like, somebody's, like, college <laughs> that I was hanging out with. There was a big thing, a big fight about somebody eating somebody's haagen All right, broadcasting now. Now you know why, Mom, we wanted you to use the toilet in the bathroom and not the porter potty? I would have fallen right into the bathtub. Because you need to be more stronger. And I got hurt. I fell in the Mom's on the floor, Joe. Right, Toki? Okay, Google, turn on bedroom light. Oh, it's definitely gotta be haunted. It's haunted by like all of his like terrible deeds and like ghost diapers and shit, I'm assuming. Sure, turning the bedroom on. Mom, how did you fall when you I were right dizzy. by the toilet? I got dizzy. Oh hell yeah, Simmons. Okay, you got dizzy and you fell. Yeah. Did you lose? Is it sugar? I hope not. Why were you sitting Damn, in the toilet Smith. for two hours? I'm doing a puzzle. For two hours sitting yes. in the toilet? Did you poop or anything? No. You were just sitting there. You, you were sitting there. Did you poop or anything? Like, what the fuck? I got yeah, how about he picks her up? Questioning her whether she pooped. That's what he was interested in. Dizzy, Joe. I yelled, help. And I fell. She was sitting on the toilet for two hours, over two hours, no, Dad said. 
Dad said he loved to go to Walmart or to Aldi at 5.30ish, and she was sitting on the toilet before he left. Well, I love And I came up before, after, a little after 6 to tell her, hey. Just like her little head sticking out there, like holding onto her walker and shit. Right, call 911 or some shit. He's literally, what's up, Babe Tovin? But he's literally just like, like, whoa, I'm going to film you, blah, 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 blah. Can you come downstairs? I'm going to be this getting the. I'm going to be getting my dog. Hand, I, I, right, I Beethoven. Phones, I can't hear you. I had my phone. Then why didn't you call me? She didn't even use the broadcast thing. Yes, I did. Well, nobody got any message, and I was recording down in the kitchen, Mom. This is why I EPS am... needs to get involved, Mom, to help you and Dad. UPS. APS, Adult Print <laughs> UPS. Detective Services. This is exactly why I called them. Tell ya, Mr. Bones. Well, yeah, and then that's it. You don't see the rest of it. He just wants to film what he wants to film. Still. Didn't even fucking try to help her in the least little bit. Waited for someone else to come there. All right, so this is where he flashes the officer. So here's where another cop comes and he flashes him in this one. I already have a civil rights violation. Supergirl 92 became a member. Thank you, thank you, Supergirl 92. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for becoming a member. You get access to the stupid little emojis now. And uh, there's a couple of videos. Like, uh, some pre pre-finished editing stuff, I think. With the division human rights against Perfect. multiple city Taiwan and police officers Perfect. and APS. Perfect. Don't make another one. Perfect. And your threats don't matter to me, okay? I complain <laughs> about the same bullshit yeah. every single time I call you Let's guys. Let's see if I can make yeah. this look My better. father is committing harassment. I want him to be arrested at this point. What'd they say today? I can't remember. Okay. The rest of their house is hoarding. Oh, that's a violation. Call the building inspector, Andy. This officer, how many times have you been here? Too much. If you can't arrest my dad, can you please have them eat out in the kitchen so I have some peace? Do I live in America? What are my rights? I guarantee you, the city of Taiwan police do not want a suicide on their hands. I have severe autism spectrum disorder. I have expressed instructive language before. <laughs> I have I mean, it's pretty much cryptozoology. Yeah, what's up? You are aware that APS also says I have. Uh... It is. It's like the new form of cryptozoology where we study these like very confirmed cryptids from afar. Watch all their like footage that people have captured from them over the years. Antisocial personality disorder okay. and malingering, right? I can't believe you believe in narcissists. I don't right want builder. to be abused anymore, God You're not being it. abused. Just because you argue with your parents doesn't mean that. It is emotional abuse. I am. God damn! Just because you argue with your parents and he's like, it's emotional abuse. It's pretty much anything that he doesn't want to hear. It's abuse then. I'm to be placing myself in danger by living on the streets. And if I get hit by a car, it's on you. Do you realize that? You are that? refusing help, though. I'm refusing help. There's been several places for you to be placed, and you really? decided not to go. I, I have, have not refused. I think it's in New York, and sometimes in Philadelphia. This placement. Okay. Really? Yes. I've been offered help. Yeah. Then why am before, I still before here? Before the be cozy, they offered you and you said no. Where? In Buffalo. You guys do have two okay. types of group homes in the city of Taiwanda. One is TSI. I do not meet a diagnosis to go in that home. There are people in group home. That's the Pretty type much of ace. home I need. That's the home I qualify okay. for. Please, I don't want to be in that group home. I, to... I don't know. I don't know if he gets arrested this time. He definitely got arrested for that oil diffuser shit. That's what I'm saying. I feel like they were just tired of a shit by that point. Trust me. You didn't do anything illegal. I would like to go to jail. The I don't mean to sexually house. abuse you, but this. I, I don't mean to sexually abuse you, but. And then he drops his pants and shows him. This is my skin infection. He shows him his skin infection. He wants to show it off. He loves it. He loves having an infection. That's why he sits in the diapers all day and it's nasty and shit. He like enjoys being in pain and enjoys having people be like, oh my god, look at this. Look at how terrible his life is. He wants everything to be poor me. Classic, typical Munchausen bullshit. Right, G. Ferg? It's how all college kids date today act. 
this is bullshit. Oh, I watched this episode of King of the Hill, and I was like, damn, that's pretty prophetic, where they were going to have a carnival, but then some, like, stupid guy comes, he's like, oh, all you kids need to learn about diversity. Ah, diversity training, sensitivity training. And then everybody gets, like, real bummed out and, like, real, like, oh, my God, blah, 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 real, you know, uppity and shit. And so they're like, we're not going to have the carnival anymore. And I was like, damn, that's pretty pathetic. Instead of, like, having fun and just, like, you know, goofing off and having a carnival, everybody's got to be, like, poor me. Wah, wah, wah. Now fucking days. Yeah, admits it's sexual abuse. Absolutely dead, barbarian. That's what he's fucking saying. I'll be leaving. <laughs> God damn. And like, the cops know that he's faking. They've said it. Courted out of a hospital or something. There's so many times, and you know what? Put me on 941, because I'm going to run away from the house, not, from the no, hospital. No, no, no. Hell yeah, I'm running on. away. You can't it's hold true. me hostage. Come on. You can't hold me hostage. We're not holding you hostage, but we need you to... Hostage. We need Hell you to yeah, hold me hostage. We need you to go down to the You're ED. holding me hostage? Oh, you Andy. abuse me! Andy. You abuse me! Why are we doing this? You abuse me! Don't touch me! Andy. I don't want to be abused! Andy. Andy. I will. I want to leave. I want to leave. We're trying to help you leave. Andy. You just pushed me, and I had back surgery. I want to leave. I want to leave. No, don't, don't. I want to leave without being escorted out. If I'm not being detained, call me hostage. What's up, James Cooper? No. No. If, if I can find it somewhere, um, let's see, let me go back to this channel, I think. And there's a... That's not it. There we go. Right, this was this someone channel, that this channel. Had replied to me one of my I messages think. about my repeating my dad's words that got me arrested. Repeating. Here we go. Exploring his head injury. So we got a head injury at some point, but there's like a little like uh, report that they. He was let the go list. from McDonald's. Why was Andy let go? From All right. Here we go. Here's him like kind of reading this shit. This like report about him from McDonald's, mom. You don't know? Pretty much, Builder. So I think you know I'm caught, caught you in a bunch of lies that you're uncomfortable with. Yeah, well, Andy got hit by a car in two Alright, let me just read what this says. The year is 2005. Andrew is riding his bike to his job at McDonald's. Before McDonald's phased out their mascot, Ronald, in 2016, Andrew's job at McDonald's was to dress up as the world famous clowny icon to entertain children what the fuck while riding his bike to work andrew was hit by a vehicle and sustained a serious head injury somehow despite having an obvious andrew shaped face impression on the hood of their vehicle the mysterious driver was never caught this head injury seemed to have impacted andrew in a profound way his mother recalls that andrew's love of diapers and poo began when he was around 20 years old before this point, there's no mention of diapers or incontinence in any of Andrew's records. This event seemed to have been glossed over by Andrew many times, and before now, I don't think anyone else has drawn that much attention to this topic. It's clear from his records that Andrew was always somewhat antisocial. His school records say that he would often bring up sexual topics unprompted in the middle of class. When asked about his interactions with police, he said, They can't do anything to me, but something about this injury seems to have changed him for the worse. It wasn't until around 2018-2019 that Andrew learned about autism and decided that he has autism and has been role-playing as an autistic person ever since. Alright. So yeah, he was like 20 when he started like wanting to like wear diapers and shit. It could have something to do with his fucking head injury that he got. He got ran McDonald's, over by a, a car, where I had a, a TBI. This is a picture of my head injury that I had in August 2000. 
Oh, uh -huh, yes, when CD. I got hit by a car. I say I got hit by a car because my bike frame was bent, the fork was bent, and the handlebars were just bent in half. My front rim was completely destroyed. This is my left side of my face. How the hell I don't have scars, I have no idea. I think this picture was almost like a week after. Maybe less than a week after. He is incontinent, but she- Alright, here we go. Mom states that he is incontinent, but she is not sure how bad that is. Initially started around 20 or 22, and it was just urine. Until he discovered that, quote, Bowel movements felt good in the diaper, and all of a sudden, he couldn't make it to the bathroom. He was going to a urologist on Main Street, Dr. Doyle, later saw Dr. C, question mark, for the un... Descended testicle. Undescended testicle. He, he had a undescended testicle. <laughs> God damn. Shit. Oh, that might explain a lot. Mom states that he would fake bladder infections by dyeing the toilet red, but she knew as she was a nurse that this was not so. Mom states that Andrew wears diapers so that he can, quote, sit in front of the computer for hours on end and not get up. He said that he knows when to go, he's capable of cleaning up himself, but he won't because he's lazy, and he wants everyone to clean him up. At about 20, when the incontinence began, he was admitted about, admit about briefs. He wanted tab diapers and wanted someone to put them on for him. Mom helped him in the beginning, then told him to do it himself, which he did. Mom states that he started to demand a daily detailed schedule after Horizon declined him as a patient. Uh, is this just talking about him, his meltdowns. And he looked up Google and like, he was like, I'm, I'm autistic because he looked up some shit about Google. What's up the memes, Jack? Yeah. Or by the apartment and Fletcher. And we got a phone call. We're sitting down to eat dinner. Come and see your son if you want, because otherwise he's going to be dead. He's laying in the middle of the street. So we rest, raced out. Got in the car, went over there, and he's laying in the middle of the street. He got hit by a vehicle, hit and run, and he's laying there. You know, and Mom, and you could tell me Andy started around 2022? Alright, so yeah. <laughs> he got ran over by a car. That could be possibly where his weird poop fixation comes from. It could have just unlocked it. It was already there inside of him, and this it was just like that... broke his uh, inhibition. All right, part of the horde. Here's him exploring and showing off his horde house. So I'm going yeah, from the. He definitely self diagnoses. I'm going to diagnose him. I'm going to say he's got some munch house, and that's what it seems like. Living room and dining room, and I'm going to go upstairs. It's the very first place I'm gonna go from here. So here's the back door. So this is the- Hell yeah, bear man, thanks for hanging out. I mean, make it, let's zoom in. <laughs> so this is all me. I I mean, look, I'm, I'm not able to touch this stuff. I've been very cautious when I touch, right? I that hurt my ears, whatever that was. So I walk up here and I had to lean over to the side of the wall and I already have trouble with balance. And I have trouble with my knee and my coordination, and this is what I have to walk through, guys. Right, Frostmath? <laughs> yeah, some become geniuses and others become King Cobra. I don't know. Is it... Does it come from people taking weird-ass drugs, like their parents taking weird drugs? These are experimental research trials. We don't know what's going to happen. And then whenever they have kids, it's like fucked with them or something. Some kind of like scanners bullshit, but instead of making them psychic, it just made them all autistic. So this is my... This is something that workers comp paid for. He's got to be like 40 at this point, Barrow. I was like, like I was saying, the uh, when he got arrested, the video was from like three years ago. And they said he was 37 in it, so that's right around he's being 40 now. And it's up here. It's my polar pack for my shoulder injury. 
These are just boxes of things. That's an amplifier that that- Is Cobra's Asperger's bullshit? I could see it being, I could totally see it being bullshit. And it's just, he's just awkward and weird, got a little social anxiety and shit. And Clint like plays up into it. Uh, well, that, that mom kind of broke on me. This is my dad's amplifier. This one hurts my ears really bad. Um, okay, Google, turn on lights. So, I'm going to turn on six lights here. So, I just came upstairs. By the way, I buy these rope lights for them. For me, Hell actually. yeah. Mikhail and I Thomas. give one for my mom and dad because it's... There are just instruments sitting the fuck around for some reason. The light here does not work. But yet he's got, like, he can't have loud noises. But obviously at some point in time, there was a bunch of instruments sitting all around that were probably used. So you have no light going downstairs at all. No working light. That's not safe. So this stuff here is not even mine. This is my brother's computer radiator, some computer... Hell yeah, Lewis. Yeah, yeah, back in the day, people with way worse, worse disabilities would, like, get out and do stuff. They're parts of my brother's... I don't want to go through all this stuff. Um, see, there's two remotes here. So, you know what? I see my dad actually took another one of my rope lights that I had given him. And what you have to pay in Colombian peso? Dang. Well, I mean, you know, I guess that's like the uh, the <laughs> the money that they want. I don't fucking get it. I only use. I only give him one. He used both of them. That's why. Uh, that's why my other rope light is still in the box, and yet I had a. Yeah, pretty much Jamal. And, or like ignoring the child in general, and like trying to get someone else to teach you about how to raise your child instead of just like you know. Just letting it come natural and just being there for him and like talking to him one on one and shit like that. New one. So, anyways, so this is what I go through, right? This is all stuff of theirs, right? My mom's oxygen generator. There's floor tile stuff. This is the stuff where that's supposed to be for the bedding. Stereo. You got a stereo there. You got a stereo here. Very old. Yeah, Frost Meth. Like, him getting fired just did make him lazier. Because he's like, now I can't work because I'll just get fired because of the trolls. Although he, like, just messed up some tea or some shit. Old, old one. You got a stereo here. You got speaker after speaker after speaker. Oh, wait. A track machine. Um, and yet, this is what we have. We have, like, five of everything, right? So, in here is the bathroom here. And, um... You can see it's not even clean, but yet I get accused for not cleaning the bathroom. I get accused for not doing anything around the house. I want to see the bathroom here. Was that a giant cat litter bathroom. box? I get accused for not doing. Does he take a shit in that litter box? Doing anything around the house. I Look at that. What is that? It looks like a giant ass litter box to me. And that looks like he probably goes and he sits in there and takes a shit in that like kitty litter. I want to see the bathroom here. So I want to show you. This floor here, right here, there's actually mold. That's mold. Absolutely. This floor Lewis. had to be patched up. And right here. What's up, the cat box? Right? Yeah, it is sad. And there's a giant cat box. All week. I, I'm stepping on it and I'm pushing into the floor because how weak it is. Oh my god. I don't want to use the toilet because I'm scared it's going to crush and fall down. And, I'll, I mean, it probably will. He's, he's a big guy. He's a big feller. He'll, like, break that and it'll crash down to the second floor any day. Wow, surprising. The bathroom, the toilet's actually clean. Probably, I'm kind of, like, afraid to go over there because I know the floor is so weak. You can hear it, like, crackle. Oh, hell yeah, Mingo. That was pretty funny. Oxygen tank that's up, tied Evan down Reed? properly, so that's good. Not like downstairs. So, yeah. I had to get out of here with some more financial breathing with some of this stuff I'm going to show you. Yeah. Seems like up here I have more trouble his diaper breathing collection. than downstairs, but whatever. There's so much garbage up here.
So this is the oxygen tank, the another one, my brother's trumpet, computer cases, computer fans, brother's hockey outlet, a broken TV, by the way. Oh, hell yeah, locale. Um, yeah, what was it, brother's... Wendy's? Yeah, they'll definitely do that. They'll just like, instead of, they'll make you quit instead of firing you by just like cutting your time and shit like that. Bosey stuff, my brother's 3D printer. Look, bro, uh, these are different computer cases, uh, backing, so you know there's more than one. Why do they film like that? Why do they always film in the up and down vertical way instead of filming horizontal where we can see more? There's a safe there, I don't even care to go into it. So there's a computer case here, more speakers there. Look, all this stuff. Hell yeah, more computer box. cases, another TV. Don't know, or I think it's my brother's monitor. Look, absolutely. Do you realize? Do you realize you stuck a knife in our back and twisted it? If the wherever he is, I can't remember. Townsville, Townsville. Wait, is that where the Powerpuff Girls live? If the Townsville health department see that. It was some shit like that. A air conditioner that's been here for three years that haven't been working. Look, another filing cabinet. All this stuff is clothes that my dad had the plan of sorting out <laughs> when yeah, mom was in the nursing home and getting rid of to Goodwill. Never done, is it? This is my brother's room. I don't think the light in here works. Let me see. It actually does. So this is my brother's room. He has one computer, two computers. Absolutely caustic. A cell phone. This is my brother's room. A cell phone. I, it might have just been a wobble, but I thought I saw like an actual like rat there for a second. This is my brother's. Oh my God, you can barely computers. see it. A cell phone. I don't know if it's just like a wobble this or is my what. Brother's oh, it's a kitty cat. It's a kitty cat. Never mind. It's just a kitty cat. Computer. I saw its tail and I thought it was a big ass rat moving. A cell phone. Oh, poor kitty. Get that kitty out of that mess. This is my brother's room. Look at it. A microphone. Don't know if he's recording. This is on. Tevin21 subscribed for more madness. Thank you. Alien. But Tevin21. Yeah, they live in the Tao Dump AI. Absolutely. This is why. Uh, I don't know. I don't think you can be kicked out of a house that you own. If you like outright own it, it can be as messy and like hoarderish as you want it to be. Now, if it goes to the outside, sometimes depending on where you're at, the city or like the county and shit, they could like try to come and condemn your house because it's like spilled out to the outside and you don't cut the grass and shit like that. But if it's just on the inside and no one knows it, then like they can't kick you out or anything, I don't think. Nobody. Because I've totally been into houses that look they were like way hoardery on the inside and you would have known it from the outside. Gets along. My brother doesn't use his dresser, just like me. I wonder if he has the same problem as I have. Back of an old computer. Chair. Oh hell yeah. Oh hell yeah, Lewis. That cat, yeah, he, he he's okay, I guess. I hope he doesn't do anything bad to him, but you know, that cat gets to eat all the rats that live in that house. And just shit wherever it wants to. Thing he looks like, but it's the same color as the chair that's broken downstairs. Look, this used to be my room too. Hell yeah, Builder Cat. The last time I know physically this shelf and over there was clean was my dad who did it. They should. They should put him in in the like the old cow tank whenever they do it. Him, another one to it. For my brother. So you know, that's what we deal with. And here, I want to help clean, and yet... Oh, absolutely, I yeah. Get crit if there's kids there, maybe with kids, but it's got to be, like, way, way bad. Besides for this. For all of this. This is all my doing, guys. You don't even want to look at that closet there. But look. Is this... Is, this isn't even my room to... Oh, really, in. locale cooking? I mean, maybe, possibly. It really, really depends on where you're at and what state you're in and, like, county or city and stuff like that. This is 
what I go through. You're going to tell me right now, as my workers, that this is me causing this stuff? Hell yeah, dead barbarian. You have a son, dad. I'm not, I'm not going to show this to anyone. My dad's not going to know about it. No one's going to know about it. But I want Hell yeah, Fosco. my feelings heard. Dad, you have a son who wants to help you. But you choose not to include him into helping you. Oh my god. So this is a closet. I'm kind of afraid of opening it. Look. Ted there was bees in here set. the last time it was opened. But it looks like the bees haven't been in there for a while. That's what we're going through. That's my stuff though. Shout out to the person who built those stairs because they were creaking really fucking hard, but they didn't fall through with them. This is the diaper museum. Oh my okay, fucking guys, god. Okay guys, so I had to quickly end the video because I started feeling like maybe I had to go poo real bad. And most of the <laughs> Not on the, the bees. toilet, but when I was sitting down on the toilet, it kind of had a little mess. A little mess, not much. Hell yeah, so I cleaned cow. that up. So guys, um, he wears diapers. He fakes autism. He lives in a hoard house, and he calls the police and like protective services over anything. And he wants to go live in a group home. I don't know where, what kind of diapers these are, but when I found the uh the bag. Hell yeah, Ed. Ed boy. Let's wait till it pops up. Hell yeah, CEO. Poop Squatch. Please watch Cyrex get beat TF up. Hell yeah, Ed boy. Maybe when we like close this, I can like find it and we can just watch him get his ass beat. That's always it's always a one to cheer up the mood. Yeah, and he's a terrible poor person, absolutely. Terrible person poisons people tops bag that's pretty small i want to say these are good nights i'm pretty sure these are good nights i'm almost positive oh if God. i remember these ones were good nights those were right after the white diapers that um those were around the area where the white diapers dad had found you know what yeah they say good nights on them on the back cool so yeah these were the i think these were Holy I didn't shit. wear these because they didn't fit me like the white good night. School was preparing for like testing and see he's making this shit up now. He's talking about how he had to wear diapers when he was younger, but there's all that evidence of him not having to wear diapers or not wanting to wear diapers. It's not having to wear them, it's wanting to wear them when it comes down to it until he was twenty something. Those actually fit me and those were the extra large ones if I think my mom bought right and if you look these are um oh, extra yeah. large too assaulting people and the old depends the only time i didn't wear them were only at nighttime where my mom had the tranquility all throughout the night diapers or those purple diapers and sometimes when school was preparing for like testing and stuff like that mom had to okay mom put a nighttime diaper in my book bag or had me do it because it was part of me being independent, right? So mom had me do that. Um, my mom. Yeah. He's just gonna ramble about how much he loves diapers more. Two, I got two bags there. There's right, here we go. Let's watch him spit on a medical worker. Hey, hey, can I ask Hell you? Yeah, mom. Can I ask you? Can I ask you for your name? Can I ask you for that guy's name? I'd like to please have that guy's name, that's all. Okay. You just stay oh, I'd like to make sure I get a good picture of him. Okay. Can I have his name, please? I'd like to know your name. My patient writes. Can I please leave? Sir, no. The Why? Said no. The said no. I want to leave. Hey, man, come on. I want to leave. Can I please leave? Yeah, you just fucking spit on that guy. Come on. What the fuck? No. I have a right. 
just like using his like bodily fluids and like shit and stuff as like weaponizing it, rubbing it on the walls of places he's mad at, spitting on people. That's how you like a goddamn fucking baboon or something. Big. I'm asking to leave. Right, I have a right to leave. Before you leave after that crap. I'm sorry, but you can't hold me against my will. I'm asking to leave. And I'm glad to be arrested. I don't want. <laughs> I'm glad to be arrested. God damn, he always says that shit. Arrest me then. To be in play a uh, hospital. Hell yeah, Jabal, absolutely. <laughs> I don't want to be in a hospital. Hell yeah, G Ferg. I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings, but I have a right to leave. I have a right to leave. I have a right to leave. Alright. This says Officer Brentley tells my aunt that I'm faking it. No. Yeah, thank you. This guy, I've never heard of him, and I hate him all. Thank you, Ed Boy. Yeah. It was uh, someone made a comment in one of the locale lores, like one of these pages, and I went to like watch it, and I was like, oh my god, this guy's insane. I guess I'll do the next one about him. But yeah, I definitely hate him. He's he's too much. God damn. And yeah. I called the police on my parents and brother. Call the police on my parents and brother. I really care. Andrew, I only care about you. I know. Come on in. You talk to the officer, then I want to talk to him. Yes. Keep recording. Oh, great. Oh, absolutely, it's Dennis. Absolutely. He needs some sort of, like, order not to be online. Officer that Kate is coming. Well, don't say anything bad. Lying mouth. Well, he's got his family court, so. What's going on, Andy? Well, hi. I'm glad you're here. You're, what's your name? Yeah, your badge Lewis. number for recording? Andy, you know what my name badge number is. I know your name, you but. You call me. What do you want? What's up, Tag? My parents and brother are going on at it with me. I do not need it. I had a head banging meltdown a little while ago around 6 p.m. because my dad was on me verbally. Okay. There's an order of protection that they are not allowed to do that to me. And that they were have to help me with things that they've been oh, told yeah. on Friday by family court justice, Judge Carney. We missed. Don't go over that. You it. just need Let to. Me like, and I, I arrange it. Okay, so they're allowed to verbally insult me and everything and keep things going until I get in a meltdown, right? Hell what? yeah, Evan. I don't know what they said. I've been recording, but they constantly... When I ask them to leave me alone because Andrew, they're constantly bringing don't, stuff up. Hell yeah, Andrew, don't put Joker ramped up to an 11. Let me talk to him. Let me talk to him for a minute, and then you can talk to him. I was being told by my dad and my brother constantly about this stuff going on in the court because they never let me eat dinner. They didn't even wake me up. They're not allowed to leave me home alone. It's a safety. Right about you. It's and New York State criminal law. Yeah, it is. Oh, uh, I don't feel like finding it. There's too much to look through. But it's somewhere in here. The cop is like, yeah, he doesn't have autism. He's faking it. When I hear him, he's not telling you everything. He doesn't communicate well. He, he doesn't communicate well. Are you kidding me? No. He, Are you kidding? He's one of the best he, communicating not, autistic people I've ever met. He's not saying the oh, important shit. thing. Right, right. I go Here we go. Maybe I like from the jail. Uh, psychiatrist. No. Fed Smokers Fiends subscribed for more madness. Thank you, thank yeah. you, Fed Fred Smokers Fiends. Everybody needs to subscribe to uh, you, Fred Smokers Fiends, because you're the only one who actually like gets those Facebook videos of Cyrax for everybody else. Oh. Thing, thing he has, it's like DIS and four different, four or five different things. Right, that's. I'm not debating the fact that Andy has you issues here. Understand what those are? Yes, yes. All right, that's, all right, let's go back a little bit. Calls us because it ends up just not 
five minutes ago. He says, I didn't hear him say he was going to sue you. Yeah. Daytona he just said it vibes, not yeah, five minutes ago. All right, then you're done here. I'm going to file a complaint against you, and you're going to be out of a job every single time. Every single time I walk in here, he's got the camera pointed at me. I don't even know why he calls us because it ends up just screaming at us and telling us we're wrong and telling us we're violating all these disability uh, laws and everything like that that don't even exist. I have a stack of papers that he dropped off at my mailbox at the police station of nothing, of some type of disability awareness act that was, I read all through it, it had absolutely nothing. Did he give you... Did he give you the thing from the jail uh, psychiatrist? No. Saying, saying he has, it's like DIS and four different, four or five different things. Yeah, dead barbarian. I think he's got like Munchausen. Right. That's. I'm not debating the fact that Andy has you issues here. Understand what those are? Yes. Yes. Hell yeah. Him. I, I'm. I'm crisis intervention CIT certified. I've been through training. I've been through training with. Adult Protective Services, Crisis Services, everything. Every, this is every nothing new to me at all. Different. Every autistic person is different. When I when I go to court, he's not. When I hear him, he's not telling you everything. He doesn't communicate well. He he doesn't communicate well. Are you kidding me? No. He, Are you kidding? He's, he's one of the best saying, communicating not, autistic people I've ever met. He's not saying the important things. I I know everything. No, I, all I have to do is go on YouTube and watch his videos. <laughs> Damn, the cop was just like, all I gotta do is go on YouTube and watch his videos. Hell fucking yeah, that cop knows what's up. God damn, I wasn't expecting that. You know, he he's told me he can't cook for himself. I called him on that. He has Facebook posts about meals that he's cooked. He he, said- he, he he- Wait, is this cop like his ultimate troll? Like, I called him on that. I got you. You're faking, Andy. Oh, my God. He's the one who arrested him for the oil diffuser. The one he showed his dick to and shit. He has literally told me before that he needs reminders taking his medication and then tells me when he's supposed to take his medication. He Let me tell you this. He tells he tells you. He says he, says that he, ha- he says that he has memory issues. He says that he has trouble remembering things. He has himself on video calling all these numbers to adult protection, to crisis services, to the police department, to law firms. He memorizes all of the extensions. He has them all memorized. You're that not is not a severely disabled you're person. Not getting it. You're not getting it. No, you're, he has you. Not- you just don't get it. You just don't get it. Goddamn. His fucking family are like egging it on. Like, yeah, you don't get it. You don't understand. He has you do and and. I'm no, not, you're diagnosing him. You're diagnosing. I think he's talking to the aunt. Diagnosing him. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. You're erring on the side of compassion here, which I I, I, I can see what you're doing. You're, you're a family member. I, I can level with you. I understand you're upset. You don't this is, like I'm it. not upset. This is my job. I'm cool as a cucumber here. I don't okay? think But what, there's only so much that we can do. Wait, did the aunt say you're getting upset? Or the cops literally like being, like, as he said, cool as a cucumber? Because that's definitely the same like behavior that he's doing like oh no you abusing me like holy shit runs in the fucking family i'm guessing i i don't know what he wants us to do he wants us to come in here every single time and take his mom and dad and brother away in handcuffs because they won't wake him up in the morning what because he can't wake up to the alarm or a phone call if i were to call him he doesn't answer he needs to take his antibiotic morning and night but he can't take it in the morning, so what good does it take it just at night? Okay, so why didn't he come no live with you? Will, no one, huh? Why didn't he come live with you then? <laughs> because I, I live in a one-bedroom senior apartment. Okay, and so? I can't him live here. Nope. <laughs> okay, so? Then why doesn't he go live with you? Get him out of here! Damn, this cop's, this cop's awesome. He's, bad for him. He can, this bed's tiny. It only takes up like, three, by, like six feet by four feet. I am disabled also. I am disabled also. Holy fucking shit. It's the family. It's what they taught him. They taught him this kind of bullshit that he's like taking it to the extreme back to them. His parents. His mother's almost died several times, mainly because of taking care of him and him getting up in front of her and pounding his fists on the table. I don't think so. 
What do you mean you don't think so? Don't think I've so. been here for it. I've known them ever since I was a little kid. Ma'am, I'm sorry, but, you, you know... Yeah, he's actually trying to help a dead barbarian. Yeah, this cop is, like, actually trying to do something, actually trying to talk some sense into somebody. And everybody's just, like, in this weird little, like, delusion. Like, no, he, he's autistic, he needs help. He's got, he's like manipulated them so much, gaslit them so much that they're like doing this. But I'm sure, like I said, this aunt be like, I'm disabled too. And all that shit. It's just inherited. You're not seeing the whole picture here. Okay. It, it, there's something Hell wrong yeah, when one single person is making all these allegations, an entire police department and his entire family are calling him out on it. Everybody. You are the only one that takes everything he says word for word. Uh, the only one. And you're not here. I'm here almost every single time he calls because it's always on night shift most of the time and I work steady nights. Damn, I bet we could get his like body cam footage of him pretty easily. He seems like he would want that to be out in the world. Be like, look how annoying he is. Well, he needs to go Hell to yeah, the house okay. so we get his head. Not just the... He's, he's, a, he's a grown adult. He has to make that decision for himself. I'll ask him if he wants medical attention. No, if he wants to go to the hospital. Right, which would be medical attention. <laughs> ask him if he wants to go to the hospital. Okay, he's, he's having EMS come over right now. That's what he wants. So, but you need to ask yourself some serious questions here because you're starting to be part of the problem. <laughs> with him getting him help oh damn call her out you know he is a uh, a a spoiled person who's gotten everything handed to him and he's led himself to believe that he has needs that are far outweigh what he actually needs god damn yeah if only the cops could do this to Rax be this straightforward to like Sally and shit an ambulance and I don't care if I'm not a medical right, professional. That's my assessment. Okay. I've had enough training, I think, to ballpark it. I'm sorry you believe that. Well, I'm sorry you, you feel the way you do. That's part of, part of the reason why I'm here. Damn. Right now I'm concerned of Andy. That he gets medical attention. Yeah, they're coming. They're on their way now. We just radioed for it. Absolutely, S.H. She's totally been the drama queen's pot shit story. You no, know, I'm not asking you to change your mind here. I'm just telling you to, to do something for Andy that's going to help him. Okay? Hell yeah, Jamal. And one would be to stop enabling. Stop enabling, damn. <laughs> because he's becoming a hazard to everybody's health in this house, including himself. Okay. Never mind about his head banging, uh, autistic things that he has going on. All right, now he's calling for my supervisor. So <laughs> he's calling the supervisor. Goddamn. All right, let's watch. Let's watch the temper tantrum. His brother recorded this one. This one's on his brother's YouTube. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to go to any more of the doctors. I asked you to help me. And you're not helping me. This one was from February 2nd of this year. I'm tired of it, Dad. You keep promising me. Oh my god! I was seemingly on. Oh my god! <laughs> What's up, Cinnabite Tacos? Um, I don't know. I think he like came onto the radar about 2020. He's like new to me. <laughs> you keep promising me! <laughs> yeah. A grown adult, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give me. 
Now he's gonna scream. Now he's gonna scream more about his head. My head! My head! After banging it and shit. Just so he can be like, oh no, my head hurts. Uh, like, what the fuck? It is like Larson. It's goddamn. Yeah, it's for attention. It's just for attention. I would I would It beats my Dr. Dre. Hell yeah, Builder. My head hurts me. Oh, absolutely, SH. He does have a little bit of boy con do look going on. I thought about that too. Gonna calm down. You're you all right. abuse me. You abuse me after you forced me to beat my head into the wall and you abused me. Oh my god. <laughs> you abuse me. His head is all red. He won't stop. You abuse me. Yeah, eat. Bear Man. And Andy would not accept The Pampers tried to kill me. The Pampers tried to kill me. That's so funny. God damn. me, you won't Everybody needs to just walk away and ignore him. Just like, yep, let him like scream it out by himself. But what's he gonna do? He's gonna stop when no one's there. Well, he'll start recording himself and put it online. She's all right. And how she gets on And I need to find out what her shit is. I need to He doesn't understand. We can't let it go. You love me. He acts like this. And then when I tell him you act like that, banging your head. All right, I'm going to read it. It says, Andrew Ditch had a temper tantrum after his dad had to take care of Andy's mother because of her serious medical condition. Andrew Ditch did not want her, did not want to her hear, okay, it's supposed to say to hear, did not want to hear what her dad had to say. This happened on 2 2 23 at approximately 3 p.m. So, like, his dad was telling him, You gotta help. Your mom, your mom needs help. And he's like, I'm not gonna do it. You're abusing me. And beats his head into the wall. We're done. We're not making any phone calls or doing anything. I don't. I am going to kill myself. I don't want to do it in your house anymore. I don't want you to be in your house anymore. You won't help me. Yeah. God damn. Oh, forget about I'm tired of you abusing me. I am tired of you abusing me. I am tired of you abusing me. This is why we can't clean the house. <laughs> I am tired of you abusing me. God damn. I am All right. Here's him being weird. He's got a big old scab on his head. Like the ultimate, ultimate head scab in this fucking one. And then this will be it. We'll watch some of this, and this will be the end of it because I'm getting tired of watching this guy, and we've seen a lot. So let's just like look at him so, being weird, guys. I got some things the internet's gonna Hell love. Hell yeah, Brandon. Here. So hey, internet guys. So let's start off by this, okay? Look at this. How, what degree is he supposed to be here, right? How how much is he playing it up? He's like not playing it up as much as in other times my roach clip okay this is my roach clip yep i used it to smoke weed i go like this and i don't have to really get my fingers burnt or anything okay so there's oh, yeah, this Ace. right so it like, helps me be able to tolerate my sensory issues and actual goofy oh what's this thing for um this thing well does this thing actually Look at makes it, right the the weed giant giant scab burn quicker you actually squeeze it to get the is it a poop stain shit it could just be a fucking poop stain wiped up there air to go go out and you kind of like blow into uh blow 
cool like this. And suck it oh at my the same God. time as you squeeze it out. It's either a scab or poop. Either one. Either way, it's disgusting. This little gadget is to help roll the, the, the weed. And also, it has a multi-use. So now he's talking about smoking weed or something. But then here in a minute, he's going to be like, I don't really smoke weed. Thing. Is, a, is he a baby or isn't he a fucking baby? What's up with this shit right here? Get with it, and we're not gonna show you the most <laughs> used thing, because it's for your, for what you think it is. And what does that mean? He's gonna shove that up his ass. And also, it has a multi-use thing Get with it, and we're not gonna show you the most <laughs> used thing, because it's for your, for what you think it is for. Oh, like what did that mean? Literally, what did that fucking mean? It's so fucking gross. This thing here is to use to jab it in, you know, when it, when weed starts falling out of the... Thing. To jab it in. Ah! Cyrax, like, you know, fidget spinner. Ah! Jab it in. And you roll, you know, but you gotta use that t special, like, glue. The glue, the roll wrapper together, right? You put this, the weed back in and... God, he looks like some motherfucker who'd be into Thomas the Tank Engine. Robert Basket subscribed for more madness. Alien. Thank you, thank you, Robert. Greeley1992 subscribed for more madness. Thank you, Alien. Greeley. Thank you. Thanks for hanging out. That kind of loud. It was a little loud. Sorry. And you kind of like. And oh, yeah, there he goes. Oh, that was loud. That was a little loud. Bacon, bacon. That kind of loud. It was a little loud. Sorry. And you kind of like use this to, to pack it in, but, uh, so it doesn't fall out. So- Oh shit. Let's see who opens the door behind him. The little one goes in the, and the big, uh, the little one goes in the little, the big goes in the big, <laughs> and then you can use this, uh, for the big mouth ones, and you can put okay. the big one in there. Like <laughs> yeah, that, glue. Uh, and then you can- Start yeah, Evan, it. absolutely. Oh, that sounds very good. <laughs> Yuck. Oh, thank you, Locale. I appreciate it. Or you could take this bigger or big one to convert it back to small. <laughs> A big to out. And then put the little one back inside it. And then you got a big, very long, a big, a big. A big, long, skinny one. <laughs> you know, I'm just being silly for you guys. I already. Okay. I... All right. Is that his dad? I'm guessing. Take a picture of yourself. I you? already... Taking a picture of yourself. No, what do you mean, picture of yourself? What do you mean? No. I am being silly with my cyber bullies, and I already know what they're going to be using this video for. So you can take this, just this uh, little straight head one. Okay, what that's an fuck? example, by the way. I had trouble putting that in. Yes, Hell yeah, I do have barbarian. trouble putting things in like that. And that is where my fine motor skills issue is. I also have trouble. I mean, he does look like a fucking clown. He literally has, like, clown hair going on. Oh, Ew, this is bendy. This is a flexible one. I also have trouble with the screwing... That really did not sound bad. Yeah. He has you also have to be a little bit of 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 a dog coming by. But whatever, that dog was also not on leash, but I'm not going to yell at it. Um, um, but anyways, the whole entire issue comes down to Horizons ignored. Uh, my mom had told my counselor in Horizons that my, that her concerns of autism, like she always did. Absolutely, to every provider she went to because he wants it. He wants people to do that. He wants people to like watch the videos and like say shit about him because he's got Munchausen and it's any kind of attention. He wants any kind of attention, whether it's negative attention or what. That's why he shits and smears it all over the walls. It's attention. He wants any kind of attention. Always fell in deaf ears. And a prime example of this, right? 
And then it, <laughs> right, right, Simmons. In 2009, I was in a meeting with my <laughs> John Wayne Casey and look. my psychiatrist. The concern was brought up, and they had the doctor said, "Yeah, it could be." And then, oh my god! All right, I'm pretty much done with him. <laughs> that cop, I like the cop, just telling it how it is. Like, sometimes the, the cops are, like, the unsung heroes of these, like, locale situations. You know, like, the cop telling, like, rags about Yoda and all that shit. But that cop straight up, he's like, I've had it with him. That's why he was arresting him at the beginning. <laughs> that first video that we watched, he was already just so sick and fucking tired of him. Anyways, thanks, everybody. Oh, he loves that skunk for sure. Oh, God. Yeah, he's using big words and speaking clearly. Absolutely locale cooking. That's what I'm saying. He will, uh... He, he just fakes it. Just trying to goddamn fucking fake it. He doesn't remember his own fucking lore. And, uh... Yeah. Hang on. I'm trying to find that video video for you, Ed boy. I gotta go to my playlist, I guess. But anyways, thanks everybody. Parker, Outbad Brutal, CEO of Cheerbugs, Efren, Jamal, Daru, Seemingly Odd, Ed boy, Locale Cooking, Dennis Perry, Builders, Two Cup Shakur, Simmons CDA, Fifth Dog, Parker, Cinnabite Tacos, Garou, Builder Cat, AI, Ace Commander, Alex R, Seemingly Odd, Timo, Lewis, Jeff Broomham, Gibby, Crossmath, uh, Bearman, Peter Griffin, Alex R, G Ferg, Can't go any further up. Polly K the Fixer. Be free. Bosco. Murph. The Clean Urine Stash. Jack Axe. And that is as far as I can go up now. Evan Reed. Sorry everybody else who I'm not able to straight read because I had to go back at one point. And then let me give a special thanks to... It'll hurry up and load for me. I'm sorry. Everyone who became a member today. Hell yeah, GG. <laughs> right? Definitely a big old mess. A big old nasty, nasty mess. All right. Let's see. Thank you, Lax, for the super chat. Thank you, Jamal, for uh, the membership. Uh, Shaggy Boy for the membership. All the way absurd for the membership. Brandon the Trash King for the membership. Thank you, Jamal, for gifting the memberships. Uh, thank you, Fat Caps RD for the membership. Captain Papa Tom for the membership. Double O for the membership. No, not the corn for the membership. Bosco Grub for the membership. Quantum Cat for the membership. Sandman96 for the membership. Brandon O for the membership. Lewis, thank you for gifting some too. Ed Boy, thank you for becoming one. Out Bad Brutal. Dead Barbarian. Pokey. Bunny. Supergirl92. Uh, B10. BTIV21, thank you for subscribing. Ed Boy, thank you for the super chats. Fred Smoker Fiend, thank you for subscribing. Greeley92, thank you for subscribing, and Robert Basket, thank you for subscribing. 
Hell yeah. Thanks everybody for hanging out. And because Ed Boy wanted to watch it, here we go. What? Come on. Come over here. Oh! Why? Why? Why would you leave me alone, boy? Why would Oh, hell yes, Evans. We need to get some yes so far. <laughs> Absolutely, Evan. Bitch! No! No! Get the fuck out of here. Who's the king? You are? Then run away now. Suck hell yeah. Bye. You win. You win. You win. Please let me go. I'm taking you. Please! Get the fuck out of here. There he goes. Slurk, slurk it back real fast. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> oh. One more time. One more time zoomed in. Oh, damn. There he goes. And down he goes. Why? Oh. Oh. Why would you leave me alone? Why? Why would it be hard?